Welcome back to our channel. Thank you for tuning in and thank you for supporting us. But if you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please encourage us by doing so and we shall bring you the latest news as they happen. And together we shall support our great leader, Mazen Namdekano, IPOB and Eastern Security Network to make and put the Fulani Janjawi to shame, he say. The Buhari Impostor has directed and ordered the Petroleum Technology Development Fund, PTDF, to exclude Southeast region from their overseas postgraduate scholarship interview with the lame excuse of insecurity According to the Fulani manager of PTDF, Overseas Scholarship Scheme, Belo Mustafa, the Fulani manager, claimed that they had to exclude the Southeast region because of the issue of insecurity. But the headquarters of insecurity and terrorism are uh, in Kaduna, Kanu, Zamfara, and Bronu State, and the rest of the Northern State, where Fulani bandits and Boko Haram terrorists are terrorizing the whole Nigerians. Yet, those terrorized states were not excluded from the PTDF scholarship interview. They were not. They were included, but the whole of Southeast was excluded. But the Southeast region that the Buhari poster is terrorizing was excluded because Biafran youths have made up their mind that they will never allow the Fulani Janjawi overrun Biafra land. You know, the full Nigerian government are also campaigning that the West African Examination Council and NECO and JAMB should follow suit and exclude Southeast region because Biafras have refused to believe the full Nigerian government lies and Biafras are supporting IPOB's fight for Biafra restoration. You know, during the 2015 elections, the stronghold of Boko Haram terrorists, Borno State, Yobe State, had the highest number of votes and polling units, and they were not excluded from the general elections. They were not excluded from the elections. Also, during the 2019 election, all the terrorized northern states had the highest number of votes and polling units, more than the peaceful southern states. You know, the Fulani Janjaweed lied that Mazen Namdekano was the obstacle to Igbo presidency in 2015. And many Biafran politicians supported the Fulani Janjaweed just to hate IPOB because they are aspiring to become governors, to become presidents, looking for political appointments from the Fulani Nigerian government. And they wanted the Fulani Caliphate to support them in their political ambitions. You know, but the Fulani Caliphate used the lies about IPOB and Mazen and the Kano against Biafran politicians. Boko Haram terrorists were bombing Bronu State at that time in 2015. To this 2022, they have been bombing. 
But that did not stop the construction of the largest gas plant in Africa in that terrorized northern state. It did not stop it. Buhari imposter released Boko Haram and Fulani terrorists and lied that they are repentant terrorists and lobbied the World Bank to help these terrorists, these Fulani terrorists and Boko Haram terrorists to help them. Despite releasing already captured Boko Haram and Fulani terrorists. In fact, how many days did it take to repair the bombed Kaduna to Abuja train? And the rail has started working again, even when victims are yet to regain freedom from the Fulani terrorist bandits. Imagine the train was bombed in Biafra land. Imagine that. Nothing would have been repaired. The whole Biafra youth along or around that area would have been shot dead. Many of them would have been arrested. The Fulani Janjaweed hates Biafra and Southerners. And they want the hated to join hands with the Fulani Caliphate to hate IPOB, who understand the Fulani Nigerian government's evil game plan. And that is why crimes is pinned on IPOB, even without investigations. And all the gullible Nigerians are helping the Fulani Nigerian government. They are helping them. The Fulani Janjaweed takes a lot of time to plan and execute their evil and wicked plans. And before you realize, they would deceive you to believe their lies and propaganda. The Fulani Nigerian government is so desperate to shut IPOB and Mazen Amdekano down by all means. Now they are looking at Simon Ekba to shut him down too. By all means. And let us not allow the Fulani Nigerian government to use deception to make us play into their evil plan. We will never fall into their evil game plan. We will never. You know, the Fulani Janjaweed never loves Biafra. And they will never do so till thy kingdom come. They will never do so. Because Biafrans have refused to be dominated. And Biafrans have resisted Fulani terrorists taking over our ancestral land. And that is frustrating the Fulani Nigerian government. Their eyes, their mind is fixed on how to take over Biafra ancestral land. But it will not work. Every traitor in Biafra land supporting the Fulani Nigerian government, they shall surely pay for it. Because the time of restoration of Biafra is now. Is now. And nothing can stop it. They can take their scholarship and give all the full and ginger weed. We don't care. After all, after the civil war in 1970, Biafrans were left with nothing. But Biafrans whom the Fulani Nigerian government and the Fulani Caliphate thought were going to go into extinction, bounced back and became the pride of Nigerian economy. Thank you, my brothers and my sisters, for watching this video. And bye-bye for now.